and welcome back to Hot Spine Forum, where we are. I'm gonna need to adjust our trade deals actually. Um, there we go. So a union might be losing. Well, they're doing decent. Let's see. Germany, what do you got for me? So, it's mostly a civilian economy difference that I'm noticing here. Um, well, a lot of other things as well, but holy crap, Germany just did heavily invest in a lot of things. Right, infantry and a tank. Uh, let's take this one. 55% consumer goods factory reduction. And... Yeah. Let's uh, get our... No, 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 no. Sport equipment. Definitely got some sport equipment that we need to do. We, we, we got the gun, so... Uh. Uh, yeah, let's pick, one, pick that one up first. Um, we'll figure out later what exactly needs to be done. We will, I think we'll catch up at some point, uh, but for now, I think it's better if we just do it like this. Um, add two more units in. So yeah, it's mostly artillery, and I think we'll still, like, yeah, we're not producing any anti-air, so it's gonna be a while. Okay, we're just done on these factories, okay, what are we looking on at production lines? No, I don't have the uh, thing set up there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not looking that great, to be honest. Well, we got a lot of factories still on the list. And soon some more factories will lock, uh, open up once we get into 43. But yeah, we're looking... Uh, Pretty peachy, I think, to be honest. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get monarchist ideas. So authoritarian is actually something that I cannot go. Neither for theocracy through the ideas. This doesn't exactly line up. Big surprise. This wasn't, you know, designed for that mod. For this mod. I, so this is unaligned. Is that the same? Monarchist might be different though. Cause it's, uh, I'll have a look at that, I guess. November, yeah, I'm gonna save up some points and then we can get invested in that. And I will, uh, we're probably gonna lose some points. I, I, I see a chance. All right, I need to start investing in your opinion of me. There we go. There we go, Camco is gonna give me what? Design company. Okay, we got our artillery upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on the companies right now for a second because um, I think there's a lot of there a lot of had to be gained. Like recon is a very strong one to always have. Uh, what else do I want? Yeah, there are some special ones I believe in here, but they're gonna be no longer as beneficial again. It's not for after. Sniper attachment, soft attack. What does it do? Gives me a bonus in urban. Marshes and deserts. In hills and plains. Gives me very little of anything else. So it's mostly getting you an attack bonus in certain areas. Right, I also want to stick new companies. Wait, I don't have motorized? Wow. Alright. Well, let's fix that one. Unfulfilled import requests. Free State of France is no longer giving me the steel I requested. Son of a bitch. No longer need your stuff. I'm gonna need more of my own. Uh, we'll try Portugal. It's nice neutral. Okay, well, that seems to be fine. November and December, and then in January, we're gonna go and see if that monarchist ideas is actually monarchist ideas, not unaligned. Because normally, monarchist is unaligned and it's more authoritarian. So, Reichskommissariat Denmark joined the Allies. Reichskommissariat? What? You're a full blown fascist. Oh, they're occupied. Okay, wait. I just thought it said it joined the Allies, but it joined the Axis. I might be unable to read properly. Well, 
That would actually take took the Antarctic Finland, surprisingly enough. How are you doing? Uh, looks like they're both killing each other pretty damn nice. What's with that fucking horn? Like, do you need to introduce every one of my episodes by blowing a goddamn horn? Oh, fuck, I think I know what it is. No, it sounds different. So we have this little... Little? It does sound like somebody's just blowing a trumpet. Very poorly. Um, <laughs> but I think I know what it might be. And I'm kind of great that I can do another Force Loan thing. Um, okay, there's one of two things. Either it's just an asshole that's running around uh, making a lot of noise. Definitely wanted to be Chinese Emperor thing. Um, so that, that might be one of the possibilities, which is a very, very possible possibility. Um, so, that's one. Two, there's actually a unguarded, uh, I believe this is the right word, uh, train crossing about a kilometer from my house. Well, normally there doesn't uh, go a train across. However, during the summer months, as far as I know, it is summer, even though it's pretty damn fucking gray outside for the past few days, which I prefer to be honest. Because then it's not that warm. Anyway, um, because of that, beep. Um, when the, there is a summer, there's, a, there's a, an old steam train, but it doesn't sound like a steam train, it just sounds like a trumpet. So it might be, and it sounds a lot closer than actually coming from there, but yeah, that also makes a noise. When it's coming near every crossing, because it has no, because uh, it's unguarded, um, it makes a lot of noise and let, let people know, like, hey, dumb fucks, there's a train coming. Maybe you want to, I don't know, not stand next to me. Which is a weird thought, you know, because, oh, especially in this day and age, people on their phones and stuff like, you know what, paying attention in traffic? <laughs> I, 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 I hate cyclists with phones. And since a couple of weeks, yeah, about th two weeks now, it's finally illegal to hold a phone while you're on your bicycle. Thank fucking God. Because it used to, it wasn't, you know, cyclists were kind of like ignored in that regard. I guess as a, as a, if we were driving a car or anything along those lines, like a, a, a um, mechanized vehicle, so to speak, uh, or motorized vehicle, uh, it would be pretty damn fucking illegal to do so. Which makes sense. All right. Uh, well, let me pay attention for one second. Uh, currently, we're not gaining anything. And you shouldn't get anything, so yeah. If we apply this. Yes, so it is the wrong one. Alright, that's what I thought it would be. There we go. Get that one back. So that doesn't gonna work, sadly enough. It's not nice stuff in here, but um, it's not gonna work today. I want it. Daily legitimacy gain? Right, yeah, that's it. That is, every time I look at it, I'm like, what the hell is the legitimacy? But it is actually a thing. Um, none of this interests me. Resource efficiency gain is nice, but mm, it's not that great. Is there anything in here? Is this cheaper law costs, which doesn't interest me at all. Bentley's political power gain, fine. Uh, license production speed, that could be useful for us. Acceptance of other democracies. What I might do is actually pick up something that adds in a policy that might be useful for us. Like for example, that's useful, but quantity ideas. We already have quantity ideas, I think. I think this is a useful one, but I need ministry ideas and espionage ideas. Well, we have espionage ideas, but we need it. I think it would be nice for me to maintain the ability to pronounce words. I don't know why I felt like penultimate there for a second. Um, I'm looking for something here. Uh, that's okay. It's not that great. Uh, yeah, that one, which requires me to have influence ideas and innovation ideas. Innovation ideas, but not influence ideas. So we'll pick up influence ideas, I guess. Because you have to do something. Hey, you got some training there. 
Uh, that's about all I can do for now. We're in 943 though, so that means that there is more industry to be had. Woohoo! Or does the game cut out at 941? No, it doesn't. It cuts out at 945. So, um, let's pick this one up. And wish you didn't close down on me like that. I'm gonna use the the top one, and we're gonna go for retention. No, this is switching. This is maintaining. We'll be maintaining. We're not gonna be switching. Low manpower? Huh. Well, maybe we should add this one in, which gives me some more. This organization doesn't gonna help me much. Not just that one. Yeah, let's get them to uh, about thirty-five. 150 political power. Hey, we're delaying. Um, come on. Let's show up the research screen. There we go. Oh, the game is starting to chug pretty damn badly. Yeah, Germany or Russia, one of them, if one of them dies, it's gonna make things easier. What I'm wondering right now, actually, will Japan be smart? And go to war with, uh, the United States. Because they lost. They're on naval production, so they could, they could do it. I, I doubt they will, though. Um, I think I want to complete a couple of ideas right now. Surrender limit. Ideology drift defense. Production efficiency growth. Master impact. Uh, army fuel consumption. Oh, really. Fucking hell, they're making a lot of noise. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to do anything, really. I want to... Uh, higher this guy and I want to get the political power to get some work done. First of all, I want to get the royal supporter in and I think I'm fine on manpower for now. Ineffective bureaucracy. So if I get rid of that, I might get another 35% manpower. Cool. So yeah, let's get the royal supporter and get some monarchism support in here. Sounds like a fun pastime. Uh, I'll get the monarchy back in power. Am I gonna get your stuff or not? I swear to god, somebody just gives a kid a trumpet and he's like, yeah, go make some noise somewhere else. Crying out loud. Shoot your kids. What? <laughs> I actually like children. Sounds, uh, doesn't really sound genuinely after I've just said that, but yeah. Not when they're making that kind of noise, though, then I'm starting to go uh, slowly nuts. Uh, we'll take the uh, thing, because I want to get my stability a little bit up there. No, I swear to God, it's a fucking kid who's been giving a trumpet. Maybe I can see it outside the window. Well, it would help me if I could see the, no the source of the noise, but uh, it is still annoying. What are we looking for? Oh, right, yeah, we don't have the. Uh... I do know that one of my neighbor's kids is um, hell bent on making as much noise as possible at all times. And. Uh... It's, it's the funniest kid ever, actually. Uh, beside the noise-making fact, which makes him the most annoying kid ever. Uh, mostly looking at this, Beijing, and I want to get my flipping road structure there built. ASAP, wee! Um, so, yeah, that will do. Basically, this will mean when this is done, this will start building. Right, anyway. Because um, he makes a lot of noise and he's pulling a lot of attention. He just occasionally... I found him... Uh, a couple of times now, hanging outside his bedroom. I believe it's a bedroom. I think it's a bedroom. You know, I fuck what I don't know. But it's hanging outside of a window, and just <laughs> screaming, "Help! Help!" And the first time I was like, "Oh my god, what the fuck is going on?" So you know, you. I was walking outside perchance anyway. So I was like, "Hey, is everything okay?" And he was just looking at me like, "Oh crap, that's not what's supposed to happen." And he just looked really, um, like I'm just supposed to make noise don't actually pay attention to me kind of kid it's um 
Well, yeah, that, that is the kind of kid, if you give him a fucking trumpet, he will just spend most of his days uh, making a fuck ton of noise. We are suffering attrition in these areas, though. I really need to get my infrastructure up and running. Did I just get a chunk of factories? Huh. Apparently so. I can get another given loan thing. Yeah, let's do it. No! 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 Monarchy first! Monarchy first, loan second. The royal supporter. Let's get the house of Asimgiro. And I that probably maybe should tell me something, but it doesn't. Let's get the last point. Oh wow, we're 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 tanking political power for a second here. Why is that? I mean, taxes? I can set those? Mm. Rising power, regional power, superpower. Ooh. Probably requires me to own a certain amount of land, resources, and factories, I guess. But yeah, you know. Kids are, uh, kids are kids. Let's start editing in our recon companies. Safe and get them in here as well. Recon safe. There we go. Right. Are we producing? Nope. We're not producing anti-air yet. Holy shit. Okay. France is an unreliable trade partner. United States of America. Yeah. Seems that uh, I need to start adjusting my foreign policies, I believe. Because I will not get the resources that I need. Rubber is in influent, but uh, I'm out. Let's get some smooth straight going. The hump off map military factory. Hmm. New general for the Republic of China. Um, flying tigers. I don't ever know if you can hear that horn coming in. I don't think you can, because the mic doesn't seem to spike when I'm hearing it. So I might be talking about some noise that you guys can't even hear. I'll be happy because it's annoying. It's annoying the living crap out of me. I need a lot of artillery. I might need a little bit more than these puny amount of guns. Ah, uh, first things first, I need a lot of other shit. Motorized. Yep, that gives me access to some more shit. Mm, there we go. I think I just clicked on tanks, armored or armored fighting vehicle development. <laughs> no, I can't. Um yeah, let's get these in. This will also force me to start producing some trucks. So let's get that one on the list. Yeah, I think it's just gonna need, like, where is this province here? Yeah, I thought so. Not really ideal, but it is important that we uh, get the infrastructure in these provinces going because it's bad. Yeah. So I gotta put this one on the top as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's not great. There, I don't think we have a guy that can help me with this, right? No. So we're gaining some, oh, we might need some open political discourse. Oh, not yet. Okay. I don't hope we get, oh, here, there we go. Uh, this will allow me to uh, do that. All right, seven minute day. At base size two, oh. So we're not really a uh, optimal. It's total mobilization, which is currently eating a lot of it, apparently. Um, so if I would slow down to early mobilization, it's just total mobilization that eats it. 
Yeah, it does. No, the, all of them do, but it's just the one that eats the most. Uh, I'm not gonna modify my government. I'm gonna open myself up to political discourse. Um, I don't wanna ruin my stability, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna let this run its course, and we'll hold the referendum when it's at 50%. Sounds fair. 43, so there's still some research to be done. The construction going, how fast are we constructing right now? 55%. That's pretty brutal. That is pretty brutal. It gets, it's gonna go up to 50, 65 with the new research we're planning in there. Yeah, it means we're taking half more, less than half the construction time. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Uh, we're out running out of manpower though, which is a little bit annoying. It's not the worst, but it's a little, just like I said, it's a little bit annoying. I don't know how the, those guys got deployed actually, but I don't care. Um, yeah, these aren't the most interesting episodes really, because nothing much is happening. Uh, how many am I in guns? I'm pretty good on guns, so let's lessen the amount of guns I have and start production on the things that I actually need. When this gets up to five, we'll move up. Uh, we'll get another 10 in artillery, because that seems to be my biggest issue. All right, I'm having a little bit of overkill here. Well, the United States doesn't seem to be a full reliable. Let's Remove one from you as well. And one from you as well. It's minus three. That's not too bad. Modify the government. No. Um, let's go and finish this. Right, we got the hump, which gives us the Lido Road. And with that... Probably gonna invest a little bit in more in excavation. And we're gonna keep going down. And we're gonna do integrated support, I guess. Because we're using two types of support, and I think that might be a little bit better. Uh, don't know that for sure. Neither will all of our troops use. Uh, is there anything in here that's of interest to me? Forced loans. Increase the airlift over the hump. Some, oh, we get an off map. Well, if that gives me off map base uh, industry, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Um, we're still a fairly large amount of inflation, so let's let's keep dropping it. I think it's going to be useful. So we're gonna focus on dropping the inflation um, and just, you know, building our economy as much as possible. And if the inflation is gone, that would be the greatest. Right, uh, keep researching reconnaissance. So yeah, these two are gonna be, oh, don't click on that. <laughs> these two are gonna be mostly focusing on getting those companies up and running to the max. Uh, and I will, after the probably gonna look at uh, some logistics company. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I gotta confess though, for the size that the mod is, it is a surprisingly stable state. Especially because they are borrowing from everywhere. It did have, uh, you can see it in the second episode, around 8,000, no wait, was it like more? Like a lot of errors at least, but I think like most of it I think had to do with how technology is now in this game. Uh, let's see, how are we going here? No manpower, no manpower, but one of you has better production and more troops. Lads, you might want to do something about that. However, I think in the long run, Germany won't ever, will not be capable of defeating them. Wait, how cheap are these now? 65, right. And I won't pick a new idea group until I'm ready to uh, fill all the others up.
So yeah. Um Just got a message from somebody. Uh like I'm playing the wrong World War II game. But steel is a better than iron. And of course he's referring I guess I guess it's referring to Steel Division. Um two. Uh, I am I don't own that game. <laughs> When is it actually releasing? Isn't that soon, Steel Division? Stop pinging me. Steel Division 2 release date is the 20th of June. Huh. Is Paradox still releasing this? They are not, apparently. Oh, actually, good for them. I managed to get on. I might need to uh, get that at some point then. Because it releases in a couple of days. E Honestly speaking, but I think by the time this video goes live, the game has released, yeah, a couple of days ago. So, yeah, I might. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing some Steel Division, let me know. I might actually play some. Uh, apparently, it's really good. Um, so, yeah. Might be fun. Oh, we're on factory production. Oh, look at that. Factories are coming in fast. We're only at 4%. Wait, can I get a... Can you get a negative? Chinese officers will finish what they started. Oh, okay. So, if I just drop this another 5%. Okay, I'm just gonna wait, because I believe another one is... Oh, that actually doesn't matter doesn't matter because it closes it down uh, signals go have I added these into the army yet no. signal companies get in there and let's get in here right uh, national focus modern logistics did that pick it up or is okay yeah it did okay um the Air Force, don't care. Um, how are we on? Let's see. I think none of this really matters to me right now. Expanding the leader road will not give me another factory. How fast can you do this? Of how often? Um, doesn't do anything really right now for. Oh, eh? So give me some infrastructure in not my provinces, so... Um... I'm burning through manpower. So maybe a good time to pick up the uh, requirements of the... Uh, or the uh, retirement age laws, that's the one. Um, and I think you're an industry thing right now. Let's get the last resources, because that is still pretty useful. Wow, we are needing a lot of a lot of steel. At some point, I need to figure out where to get that steel. Oops, there we go, there we go. Um, get some tungsten from here and here. There will be a lot of steel in the Zhangxi clique. Um, might need to do an invasion of Japan. Definitely gonna need to kick out Korea. Get some Korean uh, stuff done. Um, that will be for our, uh, Let's pick up both. Oh, we can both of Okay, cool. So I got a production efficiency growth. Nice. Yeah, I just remembered that I after I clicked that I should get the manpower thing going. I'm sorry. It's it's not that. It's not. We're not really building much of a lot much of an army right now. Uh, not enough special forces cap. So let's get rid of these. Let's go to actually get the stuff. Uh, man, let's see. Uh, sorry, people are pinging me with pseudo vision. Uh, I might want to 
record some blip content when it, re when it releases. Uh, hopefully he gets the hint that I'm recording. I hate... Um, so the reason I have to ping on is because otherwise it just genuinely will never respond to a Steam message because I am blind. Let's see, settings, in-game, play a sound, thank you. I wish it would have the same thing as Discord, which I think is the biggest fucking awesome feature of Discord. The moment I open up OBS, Discord will keep its mouth shut. That's flipping great. Like that, that's, 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 that, 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 I don't know. that's the holy grail of, of being just re really great. Uh, do I get any nice policies I can actually click now? Nah. Oh, non-core manpower is nice. I need monarchist ideas. God damn it. Monarchist ideas. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Because uh, I think monarchist ideas are not gonna be very nice when I'm trying to become an actual monarchist. Some people are capitulating still. How's the war against Germany going? Like, oh no, they're they're done. Germany is dying. This is too much of a landing ground to ignore. Uh, Germany is out of manpower, it seems as well. No, they 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 are getting some manpower stuff done. Everybody is messing to me. What's going on? Is it already five o'clock? Yeah, it is. And that was actually the message that I. I think somebody, oh God damn it. everything is happening at the same time. It's just the last recording of the day. I'm gonna let this one run a little bit longer. People are complaining about beer. Uh, people are complaining about how, when we should play D&D. &D. People are complaining about my number plate, actually, apparently for my car. That's the first. Ah, it's not really complaining. I think it's just mostly that they are trying to send me a joke. And I am not getting the joke. So yeah, that might be uh I think this is a bit ahead of time. Um We're out of order. Wow. Might finally have some time to do some nope. Remove National Spirit Nine Power Treaty. What the hell does that even mean? I have no idea what national spirits I have, do I? While on the label of the facts of the unequal treaties and formalized and opened our policy towards China, the foreigners have extraterritorial rights and we're not fully control of our own economy. Now that fixes our economy problem, that would be pretty great. I highly doubt it will, but well, you know, let's take a look. Let's take a look, shall we? And also, let's not spend our political power and get that 35% H bracket. Yeah, we could get 40. Considering how broken I am, I rather doubt you will have a 35-year-old soldier in the field, but that might be my own damn issue. And I'm not even 35 yet. I have some funky joints. And a lot of stress. And apparently that's a very bad combination. <laughs> yeah, I laugh now, but... Uh It is, uh... Oh, never mind, I'm actually not, not gonna continue that down that road. Not gonna continue down that road. Um, again, another 10 in there. All right, signal companies. Noise. Noise. Yeah, I want to see what happens when those 70 days are passed. And if that kind of removes our... I don't think it will remove my economy national spirit, but it might do something. I don't know. Signal company upgrade. Um, we've got the points that we need to get that H bracket in. We'll pick in 40. I think that's a fine H bracket, which gives start should start adding in some stuff. I also need to get rid of the ineffective bureaucracy thing. There's just... This, this research tree is just so flipping big. We'll go for the one China policy, and we'll after that we are fine. I might go and actually, yeah, why? Yeah, definitely get some imperial legacy going. Um, because you know, uh, 
People keep messaging me. Hey, wait, that's impossible. I just I just told you to shut your cake hole. And as when a screenshot's taken. Uh How do I change that for That is actually nice that it actually disabled because that is a fairly useless noise anyway. But what's the other one? Uh it doesn't seem to be in here while I'm Yeah, okay. Just let me just 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 yeah, don't, people don't message me that often. It's just mostly annoying me right now. If Germany still exists after the war, we're still gonna invest a little bit in them, but... Uh, yeah, after we've got the uh, One China policy, I think... I'm quite sure we're actually gonna go down this democracy thing. This is gonna be annoying, but it's only 0.2, and we have a minister that gives us point a lot more. So... Yeah. Free trade gives me... Uh, okay, so what do I? Oh, whatever. I don't. I don't want to think about this shit. Um, is there anything I want regarding the government? This neither of these are gonna give me more population to recruit from, do they? Yeah. Yeah. If I would do this, but yeah, I don't care. Oh, God damn it! I will not reply to him. Maybe that helps. Ah, you know, there's nothing much happening in this video. I hope that the pings are just not too annoying. That's mostly it. Um, pilots, snipers, and soldiers. Well. We could do that eventually if we get a, get a proper kingdom rolling. Uh, is there anything really that I want to do, though? Could go to the three-year draft, but... No, no, no. Look at that. 2.1 million people. I think the, getting the 35% extra on top of that is will be more than fine. Um, yeah, I think I can now do some... Finally, some artillery and related researches. Ah. Let's get some bigger guns. I don't think there's really anything in here except for... That seems to be redundant, really, because I don't spend that much anything on it anyway. On it, uh, no, 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 Get that stability going. That is actually useful. And I'm not going to pick the last free slot. All right, let's get you to focus on some anti-air guns. Um, I want to know what that focus does that we're working on, though. Because if it only removes that little bit, it might be that it prevents... No, I just don't know what it does. It it's, it says we, it gives us control of our own economy. That's why I think it might do something with heavy with the inflation. But I don't, oh, wait, it is finished. It didn't do shit. It didn't do shit, I guess, apparently. Fuck me. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, see you hopefully in the next one. I am enjoying this campaign and we're going to go to war soon-ish. We, we got the China bits uh, soon, so that should really resolve into some more warfare. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.